Hi guys, it's Jimin Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 172 on SO exam P. So we'll pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already sent it, let's just dive right in. So I'm gonna denote X as the number of claims, right? So then the probability of X being equal to zero, having no claims, is 0.7. The probability that X is equal to one is equal to 0.2. And the probability that X is equal to two is 0.1. And we know there's no other more, there's nothing more because all these probability already add up to 100%. And then they also tell you the claims are uniform distributed on the interval 0 to 60, 0 to 60, and are independent. The insurer covers 100% of the claim. Okay, and then they're saying, what is the probability the total amount benefit paid to the policyholder is less than 48? I'm gonna, gonna denote y is equal to the number, is the amount of payment, total benefit total benefit so what is that probability well because we have different the conditions we can use our law of total probability so we can say the probability of y is less than 48 given x is equal to 0 times the probability that x is equal to 0 plus the probability that y is less than 48 given x is equal to 1 times the probability that x is equal to 1 and finally the probability that y is less than 48 given x is equal to 2 times the probability that x is equal to 2 so if there are no claims what is the total benefit what is the probability that total benefit is less than 48 well given that there is no benefit the to Given that there's no claim, the total benefit's always going to be less than 48 because the insurance is going to always pay like zero. So this one is just going to be 100% times the probability that x is equal to zero, so that's 0.7. So what is the probability that um, given they have one claim, their total benefit is less than 48? Because we know it's uniform on zero to 60, less than 48 here is just 48 divided by the probability distribution function which we know for uniform distribution to be 1 over b minus a where b is the upper limit and 0 is the lower limit so it's 1 over 60 so it will be 48 over 60 for the probability that y is less than 48 given that x is equal to 1 so that's 48 over 60 times the probability that x is equal to 1 that's 0.2 and finally what is the probability that the total benefit is less than 48 given that x is equal to 2 meaning like x there are exactly two claims so if there are two claims it, it's going to look like this right so this is 60 this is 60 if first claim has 48 then the second claim cannot have this cannot have any benefit right for it so it will be here and likewise if let's say the first claim has 1 then the second claim can't has to be 47 in order to be less than 48 and likewise you can see like if there's two claims f this has to be 46 in order for it to be less but then again it can also be any numbers less than this number so it could be any of these here so actually it's going to make like a little triangle from 48 to 48 so this is going to be the area that you're allowed where the x is less than 48 so this is actually just a triangle with a base of 48. So that's 48 times 48 times 1 half, right? And, and what is the total limit or the total probability? Well, that's 60 times 60, it's a square. 60 times 60. So then the new, this is going to be equal to 1152 divided by 3600 0, 0, times the probability that x is equal to 2, so that's 0.1. So let's just plug that into our calculator. So then this ends up being equal to 0.892, our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!